Well, for me, 2019 has been very busy. To me, uh, 2019 was just a, a pivotal year when it came to race relations in Dallas. I'll never forget the moment of finally laying my fingers on that 911 call. Um, I felt like it was really important for the public to hear it. Get up, man. Yeah, the center one. This is Carla. Where's your emergency? Hi, this is an um, off-duty officer. Um, can I get any emails? Um, uh, I'm in number. Um, what's your address? Uh, Do you need police okay. as well or just EMS? Yes, I need both. Okay, what's the address? Very quickly was we decided that we would air that call in its entirety. We took not one second, not one um, nothing was taken out of that call. The only thing we did was was bleep it when we aired it. I'm at apartment number 1478. I'm in 1478. And what's the yeah. address there? Um, it's 1210 South Lamar. 12, 1478. 10. Yeah. What's I missed, going on? I missed, I'm an off-duty officer. I thought it was in my apartment, and I shot a guy thinking that he was thinking it was my apartment. These were the first moments after this shooting. And in, in any time in a, in a case like this, the first things that a suspect says are just, you know, this is kind of like um, stream of consciousness. You know, the first things that somebody, somebody says, says something about what happened. And I, it, was very, uh, it was very important to get that call measured in moments What's his name? Awesome John. What's his name? a year can feel like What's an eternity your people are hurt especially a year with so much sorrow scared tired so much rage distrusting so much confusion so little clarity disgusted and even angry september 6 2018 a thursday night a Dallas police officer finished a 13-hour shift and says she mistakenly parked on the wrong floor, walked down the wrong hall, and went in the wrong apartment, seeing what she called a silhouette in what she thought was her home. Wolfram Shem Jean was not a silhouette. She shot and killed an innocent man in his home. The Amber Geiger trial, I think, was very pivotal in what was happening here in our communities and in it it really almost showcased just how divided um, our city is along with like the rest of the nation. A lot of people viewed that case through the lens of their own experiences. And it was, and it was very divisive. I called one of my sources and he says, yeah, we uh, off duty Dallas police officer just walked into the apartment of an unarmed man thinking it was hers and shot and killed him. And I'm like, what? Come again? Like, what happened? I couldn't believe it. I mean, I've never, to me, it was one of the most bizarre stories I've ever covered. I just couldn't believe that something like that could happen. People wanted answers. People were calling for justice. People on all sides. Prosecutor Jason Irma started his case by holding up a picture of both of Jean. He says he was innocently eating ice cream on his couch when he was shot dead. As Bo is trying to get up off the couch to find out what this intruder is doing coming into his home, she is leveling off her gun, having acquired her target, and she shoots at him twice. Prosecutors say Geiger wasn't tired from a long day at work, but distracted by text messages and a phone call to her patrol partner that were sexual in nature and that they were planning to meet up. I think it's very important for you folks to know that after a 13 and a half hour shift, Amber Geiger did not have plans just to go home and crash or take it easy. There were plans that particular evening. Out of testimony, we uncovered some other interesting facts about other police agents, um, some questionable moments or some questionable actions that were made um, that night of that tragic shooting. Um, and it really made people in the community want to know more about police, how they were screened, how they are policed by their supervisors. There's been a lot of really bad things that have happened in policing. There's been some really bad police shootings. But in my mind, Amber Geiger, that case was different different um, than your typical police shooting because she was off duty. She was coming to what she 
says she believed was her home. And I have no reason to believe that wasn't the, tr the case. I mean, based on everything, based on the, the, the totality of everything we know, but man, did it divide the city. I hate that I have to live with this every single time. <laughs> and I ask God for forgiveness, and I hate myself every single day. John's family was visibly shaken during the testimony. I wish he was the one with the gun that killed me. I never wanted to take an innocent person's life. We, the jury, find unanimously that the defendant did not cause the death of Botham John while under the immediate influence of sudden passion arising from an adequate cause and assess the defendant's punishment at 10 years imprisonment in the Texas Department of Criminal Justice. You know, you get through the Amber Geiger trial and you think, whoo, man, this can never happen again. And I got a call from a source at the Fort Worth Police Department and they said, you need to get up here to Fort Worth. We've just had a shooting similar to Amber Geiger. I'm like, what? This man murdered someone. He should be arrested. What words they could share were not easy to get out. The family of Atatiana Jefferson united in solidarity Monday, her sister asking for Fort Worth PD to step aside and allow an independent investigation into her killing. There is simply no justification for his actions. Early Saturday morning, Fort Worth officers responded to a welfare check call at Jefferson's mom's house because of an open front door. Body camera video released by Fort Worth PD shows the officer going into the backyard and then shortly after shining his flashlight into a window, Show me in. the shot killed Jefferson in her home, her eight-year-old nephew standing next to her. Now, it's different from Geiger in my mind in some key ways. He's on duty, he's responding to a call, but what is similar is that both of Jean is an innocent person in his home eating a bowl of ice cream when he shot and killed. A Tatiana Jefferson is an innocent woman in her home who probably hears a noise and gets up to check it out and gets shot. Hi, my name is a Tatiana Jefferson and I'm doing lab exercise five um, for AMP1 lab. A Tatiana was the glue that held this family together. Uh, she was so in love with uh, babysitting, caring for her mother, showing up and counseling her sisters. Uh, that when they lost her, they lost balance. It just did not seem um, that he gave the, uh, the victim an opportunity to comply with his request. The other concern is why Dean had his weapon drawn on a welfare check. Hawthorne says that's not necessarily a bad thing because no call is routine and officers don't know what they might face. But he also says it could raise the question of implicit bias. A white officer going into a predominantly black neighborhood assuming the worst. Like I couldn't believe it and I still can't believe it. It was incredible that you had another officer shoot a homeowner in her own home. Former Fort Worth police officer Aaron Dean arrested and charged with murder. At approximately 6 p.m., Aaron Dean was arrested for the murder of Miss Jefferson. People are human, so they make mistakes. I get that. But you can't make a mistake when it's at the cost of a human life. I didn't have any room. Her wake and funeral services seem to be getting upstaged by some friction among her surviving family members. It's just all so unfortunate. This is one of those cases where it already started off tragically with her being shot, but then the family feuding and then the father of this woman dies right after burying her. It just makes you shake your head and wonder what happened. I realize that no action we take can replace the loss suffered here. I'm deeply sorry for what occurred. I've received so many contacts from our officers we want to express how sorry they are as well and how this is not indicative of the work they do every day. The majority of police officers every day, they go in and they do amazing jobs. They save us from, from criminals, they protect us. Most police officers, the majority of police officers are good, decent human beings that are public servants. 